Um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, it's because my hair is fucking terrible. I just woke up. And I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what I've been up to and why I haven't been uploading like that. I just wanted to give you guys an explanation and what's been going on. So you see that fucking car back there where my dog is? Yeah. All I'm going to say is, fuck Hyundai's. Fuck you, Hyundai. I hope you're watching this shit. I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably like, damn, why does this guy have such hatred towards Hyundai's, huh? I mean, he's probably, his family members probably make that shit. No, but for real though, I'm about to explain to you guys why you should never buy this fucking car. In fact, I wouldn't even recommend Hyundai really like that in general. Because for the price point with how car market is nowadays, you're better off getting a Toyota or something completely different. And for all you guys that are watching my channel that have been watching me for a while, and you're wondering like, why the hell do you even have a green Hyundai venue in the first place? Well, it's one of my family members' vehicles and I was driving around and basically the check engine light came on one night and I'll get into it. It's crazy as hell. But basically, that's why it's here. So let's get into depth of why you shouldn't buy a Hyundai venue. Okay, so to start off the list of problems with this Hyundai venue, I'm gonna start off with the key fob and the lock system in this whole car. So I went to the service department, my local Hyundai dealership. One of the first things they told me with the recall was the locking mechanism in this car. And you're wondering, what am I, what am I talking about exactly? So you guys have been hearing on the news that a lot of Hyundai's been getting stolen. Well, this is what I'm talking about. So the dealership man, whatever you want to call him, this technician service department man, he told me that I am only allowed to lock this vehicle with the lock button on the actual key fob. And I'm not allowed to physically, well, not allowed is not a good way to put it, but he said, I'm not, I shouldn't lock it with the physical key. And even if I wanted to, I don't know even know how to, I don't even know where the fucking keyhole is on this thing. Cause I haven't looked too in depth with it, but either way, the dealership's telling me I can't. So what does it matter anyways? Right? Another hilarious thing is, is I just came back from the Hyundai dealership today after waiting two weeks to get this thing fixed because of a check engine light that they couldn't figure out. And get this guys, they put this on the side of the door just to give people more closure. When in reality, your car is still not gonna lock physically with the key. You're gonna have to still use the key fob. So if your key fob basically dies and you're out stranded somewhere, you can't lock your car. You can't lock your car. Okay, so we've addressed the lock problem of this car, right? And you guys are probably like, oh, we've already heard about that shit, right? Here's the mind blowing thing about this car, okay? My family member purchased this vehicle in 2020. It has less than 10,000 miles, right? Less than 10,000 miles, practically a brand new car, barely driven, okay? Long story short, it was my grandpa's vehicle, barely driven. We not, we're not stupid. We start it up, crank it up, make sure it's not dying, and then when we started driving around recently, not that much, check engine light comes on out of fucking nowhere, right? And we're like, okay, shit happens, right? We'll just take it to the dealership. But here's the crazy story about this Hyundai venue, okay? I took that car to the dealership four or five individual times just for them to fucking keep having the check engine light come on and then tell me they don't know. They're just telling me it's a timing code. They don't know the exact problem, which concerns the shit out of me because what dealership doesn't know the technicality of their car's own problems, right? I mean, it's their it's their cars they work on. Who else is gonna know, right? Getting into the Hyundai venue, for one of the first things I noticed is the horn. The horn didn't even work at all when I first drove this car. And look, it has 10,274 miles still, right? I just got this car back after going back and forth from the dealership five times. So the horn didn't work, and not only that, there was a transmission recall, which is fucking crazy because this car is brand new. Another recall, you know, the two major things I think are a big deal is a transmission and the fact that you can't lock your car safely. Those are two big, pretty recalls to me, if you ask me. All right, so one of the last two problems that I noticed with this Hyundai venue that was driving me insane. So the dealership, like I said, couldn't figure out the check engine light. They told me it was a timing code. And I went to go pick it up two, three different times and two minutes off the lot, check engine light comes right back on. So my assumption is they were just clearing the codes. They weren't actually fixing the car, which is something I can literally do. I can clear the code if I really wanted to. So I was pretty pissed about that. But the next thing I wanted to show you is when I crank the car, right? And I start the car up. See, it starts up normal, right? But what bothers me is 
as soon as you go up towards the motor, you guys hear this clicking? I don't know if that's a normal Hyundai thing, okay? But to me, that shit does not sound normal. And people online are saying like, oh, you shouldn't be worried about that, but what the fuck? Why is it even making a ticking noise in the first place? It's a little concerning to me. So aside from the engine ticking, I just turned off the car. I wanted to show you guys this last thing. I have never, ever seen in any car till this day, okay? And it has to do with this OBD scanner. And people might be like, oh, this OB your OBD scanner is probably faulty. It's probably broken. That's what the dealership told me too, okay? But here's the thing. I plugged it in on every single one of my cars. I mean, not my cars, that's my family's car, but my car, you know, and other people's cars that I've worked on in the past. And they all popped up the year and make model. No problem, right? No problem at all. But as soon as I plug it into this 2020 Hyundai venue, you guys are not gonna believe what it says. All right, so look, I'm gonna show you guys, okay? I'm gonna plug it in, right? Sorry, excuse me real quick. And then look, put on the on position. And we're gonna scan this car. We're gonna pop up the, uh, the information. And look what pops up as the year and make model. What? What? You guys see what I'm saying? 1990 hyundai what this is a 2020 hyundai venue why why is it popping up as that you get what i'm saying so to wrap up the whole video i know i kind of just ranted about the problems with this hyundai venue and i want you guys to like see the problems and that's because i really don't want anyone out there that's watching my channel or anyone that's shopping for a hyundai venue be like oh i'm excited for it and then have all these problems like i did and you know it's just ridiculous because this car like i said it only has 10,000 miles it's not that old it's brand new off the lot and it's it got a check engine light the horn didn't work the transmission had a recall uh the engine's making a knocking noise it, it's just ridiculous and the dealership gave me back the vehicle and told me it was ready four individual times just for me to drive it off the lot and the check engine light to come right back on in less than not even a mile of driving it off the lot from the dealership. Do yourself a favor and save your money and find a different vehicle or a different car manufacturer in general. Because there's a reason why Hyundai offers the best car warranty out of all car manufacturers. I'm wondering why they offer that, huh? Probably because they all fucking break. So if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Subscribe and like, share this video. I know I haven't been uploading very often recently, but I will try my best to upload more YouTube videos for you guys. And yeah, catch you guys later.